Hi, I'm Fraser Quelch. I'm here at Athletic Evolution with Brad McEwen, with Vanessa Plimley, here with Curtis Woodley, an ex-pro rugby league player, avid rock climber, ice climber, defensive back. We actually just refer to him now as the physique. Brad's got his Superman outfit on. She's got her big smile on. Hi, I'm Fraser Quelch. I'm here at Athletic Evolution with Brad McEwen, and I'm excited about this workout for sure. Brad is a, an ex-pro rugby league player. He played for the uh, the Sydney Roosters and is now here in Canmore. He owns Athletic Evolution, where we're shooting this, and uh, this is going to be a great workout. We ran through a little bit of the, this stuff yesterday. Now, this is Metabolic Workout B. So with a TRX, Metabolic Workout B. You've done Metabolic Workout A with Vanessa. Now it's time for Brad to show us his stuff. So, just like with Metabolic Workout A, it's a 30-second work interval, a 40-second transition period, and again, if you're in if you're in week one, then you're going to have a three-minute, or sorry, you're going to do three three rounds of this. If you're in week two, you're going to do four rounds of it. But regardless, you've got a three-minute rest period between each round. So, having said that, our first exercise is something called the swimmer's start. We'll bounce back and forth as this program goes on between the swimmer's start and the sprinter's start. There's one basic variation, which is with the swimmer start, the leg comes up behind, and with the sprinter start, the leg comes forward, and Brad's going to show it to us right now. So he's going to actually take this TRX, lengthen it all the way out, so make sure you've got it fully lengthened, and tuck it underneath your arms so you've got a thumb grip. So once Brad's got that all figured out, there we are, and we've got to make sure we've got it fully lengthened so you don't squeeze your lats up there in, those, uh, in, the, bar, in the buckle, and we'll be good to go. So once we've got that, he's going to start up. He, now he's in the right position. We've got it fully lengthened. He's just going to bring his feet right together and he's going to walk back to about a 45 degree angle to make sure he's good to go. From there, he's going to take one short stride back, so he's got about a 90 degree bend at his knee and hip, and we're ready to go. So we're just going to show you a couple repetitions, and then we'll start you off at home. So he's going to come straight up, that back leg comes up behind. See, we just adjusted to make sure he's nice and balanced. It's always a good idea to do a couple of these. And if you're ready, this is how it looks. Notice he's got great alignment, shoulders, hips, all the way through. Let's go, 30 seconds, driving down and up. Nice and quick, good tempo, good tempo. That back leg is just touching the ground. It's not really giving us any propulsion. All of the weight goes through that front leg. And look at this quad work. You certainly can see it. Brad's got a Superman outfit on today, and he's good to go. We got about 15 seconds to go. He's driving it in. Now that quad is gonna really start to scream, but we don't care what, how, how big much that quad is screaming. He's got five seconds to go, driving it down, driving it down. Let's do two more reps, Brad. That's it, and now switch legs right away. Switch legs to that 30 seconds, go. Now we're on the other side. Again, if you feel yourself swing a little bit, just like Brad did, notice he adjusted that foot. Now it's perfectly lined up with the anchor point, and he's just rolling these off. Now, as you notice, as he rolls along, Look at this leg coming straight up behind him. That's why we call this sprinter start. It looks like he's coming off the blocks if he was a, if he was a swim sprinter. Driving up, this alignment is perfect. Shoulders, hips, down right through his knees. Again, great work through the quads. We've got two more reps, three more seconds, and rest. All right, you've got 40 seconds to transition at home. What we're going to move through now is the deep press, deep chest press. This is a great exercise. So to begin with, Brad's moved himself back. He's already got it fully lengthened. He's a big, strong guy, and he's going to use the deepest position. But remember, deep is relative. It's all based on where the deepest you can be is. So let's start off down here. We'll show a couple of these. Notice Brad's got his hands in the TRX. As he gets himself out in position, he's got a nice wide stance in the back. The TRX is not rubbing against his arms. If it is, he's going to move his arms up slightly. Let's just do a couple reps right there. Going down nice and deep and coming up, we're going to go nice and slow through both phases of movement. If you're ready at home, join in. Here we go, 30 seconds. Nice and slow on the way up. Slow down, slow up. It's okay, you've got the little bit of a tremor of truth going. That's just fine. We want to drive down. Look how tight his core is staying. He's got great alignment through shoulders, hips and knees. A little bit of a butt up. He's cheating us at the top. So what we're going to do is move him forward just a little bit. Take a little step forward. Nice, Brad. And continue on. Again, your feet are not rooted to the spot. You can change your resistance just by moving. Perfect. He's got a great head position. He's not doing head ups. One more rep, Brad. One more, one more and rest. Nice job. We've got 40 seconds to transition to the single arm row. So to do that, what I want you to do is shorten the TRX all the way up and then put it into single handle mode. All right, so Brad's going to work on one. He's got it all the way short. Working on the other. Again, make sure there's no twists in the TRX. As you adjust it, that'll keep it away from getting twisted up like a seat belt. And nobody wants to try and undo that. So now we're going to get into single handle mode, pass one handle through the other. 
and then repeat that process and when you lock it down make sure that you've got the Super Mario Brothers mustache that Brad's going to show you right now. This little thing right here, that's exactly what you want. It means it won't slip. So lean back against it. We're ready to go. Nice wide stance and hit it. 30 seconds. Good. We're going to bring him a little bit deeper. Notice how he's got that shoulder nice and, nice and square. He's driving with his scapula, really trying to get good shoulder retraction as he pulls back, getting a great squeeze through the back of his body. And again, he's got good square hips, keeping himself nice and strong through his middle. We've got about 10 more seconds to go. His head position is nice and high. Nice and high, he's got, that drives his good alignment. Again, keeps that core switched on. We've got three seconds to go. Let's do one more repetition. Good, and immediately switch to the other side right away. Here we go, 30 seconds. Again, he just switched hands. He's got to set it up right on the other side. This is going to feel different. We all have imbalances through our core in different ways. He's using this hand as a bit of balance. Again, nice broad stance. The broader your stance, the more stable you're going to be. And he's driving through. I can hear him breathing a little bit now. That heart rate is starting to come up. Again, it's a metabolic workout. We've got 10 seconds to go. And again, look at this great alignment and really good shoulder retraction. He's driving up through his back. One more repetition right here, down and up one time. And rest. Nice job. We've got 40 seconds before moving into this suspended lunge. So leaving it in single handle mode, what you want to do is lengthen the TRX out so the bottom of that foot cradle is about 8 to 12 inches off the ground. Once you've got that, grab onto the foot cradle in one hand. He's got in his right. He switched up on me. Now he's got in his left. He's going to put his right toe up and in. And then he's just going to come down with his hands on the ground, resting up. Now, we've got about 15 seconds more rest, but we're just going to show you a couple repetitions here. Notice he looks like he's in the sprinter's blocks. He's just going to come straight up, nice and stable at the stop, and drop down using those hands to help balance and support. So just rest down here. If you're ready to go at home, join in. Here we go. Straight up and down. Boom. Strong at the top. Good. Notice he's got a great line of sight out towards the horizon. At the top of the movement, his shoulders are back, his chest is strong. Looking really good here, driving straight down. This back knee is almost touching the ground, but not quite. That's exactly what we want. Again, if we come around, look at all of that leaning forward is really driving his hips, his glutes, fired up here in the Superman suit. Five seconds to go. I'm just taking, taking a little bit of the mickey out of him with the Superman suit. And we're going to switch feet right away. So notice he takes his foot off, switch his hands hands, drives the other foot up and in, and as soon as he's got his hands on the ground, the watch will start. Here we go, 30 seconds, join right in. Again, look at this great hip coupling we've got. Let's reach back a little bit further with this knee as you go back. That's it. Good. Getting a nice deep lunge, just touching down, ideally not using those hands for much balance at all, just a quick touch, bounce it up and go up. We've got 15 seconds to go. Again, that glute hamstring, quadricep, the lower leg, everything's firing and as we progress along this exercise will get harder and harder. We've got five seconds to go. Let's do one more rep all the way down and up and rest. Nice job. All right, we got one more exercise to do and that's a suspended pendulum. You're already in the right level because we adjusted it down to 8 to 12 inches from the ground. What we want to do now is put it into double handle mode. So once you've got in double handle mode, you'll suspend your toes up into the TRX, into that prone plank position, getting ready for this pendulum. This is a great movement. So again, once Brad gets his toes set up, we're going to look at where he is in relation to his neutral point. Make sure you refer to that force DVD to tell you all about the setup and use and some of the best ways to use the TRX. So in five seconds, we're up. Right now, I want you up on your hands. If you don't feel like you've got the upper body strength to do that, do this movement from your elbows. And we're going to swing your body from side to side. Let's go. Hit it. Back and forth. Back and forth. Beautiful job. Note he's got that nice, flat pendulum, really go back and forth. And because he's such a strong guy, I'm going to give him a little bit of a push on this side, just to me, a little bit evil. Excellent job. 15 seconds to go. He's doing a great job. Look at the great stuff that's going on through this upper body. You can see that torso slightly twisting from side to side. He's got great engagement. Five seconds to go. Hang on to it at home. Really drive it. I know that core is burning a little bit. And down and rest. Nice job. So, you've got about three minutes now to rest up for the next cycle through. Again, like I said at the beginning, if you're in week one, you've only got two more cycles to do. You've got to do three for the week. If you're in week two, you've got to do four cycles. So, as I said, I hope you ate your Wheaties. How are you feeling after that first cycle through? It's challenging. Excellent sure. stuff. Do you feel that heart rate metabolic stuff coming yeah, up? For sure. 
depending upon what level you're at, this should be about right as we progress along the programs. We're going to start to extend those sets so they're a little bit more demanding and also reduce the rest, making it more and more metabolic. See you for week two and metabolic workout A.